butterfly. Hello. I love chicken wings because they have such a high ratio of skin to meat. So when you get that skin nice and crispy, it makes for an amazing bite. And I love these wings because they have an amazing Texas inspired barbecue rub. And I'm gonna show you how to make them. Hi, I'm Rhoda from Made In. And today I'm gonna make my absolute favorite crispy grilled chicken wings. For this recipe, you're gonna need chicken wings, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, light brown sugar, sweet paprika, baking powder, chipotle chili powder, dried oregano, black pepper, ground cumin, and a little bit of cayenne if you wanna make them spicy. All right, we're ready to start on our barbecue rub. This is a dry brine, so it's a salt-based rub. We've got kosher salt, onion powder, garlic powder for a little allium flavor. Allium flavor is that sharp flavor that you get from onion or garlic. And now we have our secret ingredient, baking powder, and that's going to help to draw out the moisture from the chicken skin so it can get really nice and crispy when we cook it, and it'll also help to tenderize the meat. Now we have our black pepper, we have cumin, we have some dried oregano, chipotle chili powder, so it's got a, a smoky, spicy flavor. And if you want it a little bit hotter, you can add some cayenne, which I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna whisk this all together, and I just add the wings in here to make sure they all get nice and coated. So since this is a dry brine, it's really best to sit for at least six hours, preferably overnight in the fridge. And that way the baking powder and kosher salt can really work together to draw that moisture out of the chicken. And then it gets absorbed back in so that the chicken stays nice and juicy when you cook it. You're gonna wanna pat these wings really dry before you toss them in the spice rub, just to make sure it'll really adhere. Okay, now I'm gonna put these on a cooling rack set over a sheet tray and let them sit overnight. You wanna leave this uncovered so that they can really dry out a bit in the fridge. Okay, so now that our chicken is brining, I'm gonna get our crudite and our scallion ranch ready for serving. For the scallion ranch dressing, you're gonna need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk, apple cider vinegar, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, dried oregano, black pepper, a little bit of sugar, and some scallion. We're also gonna chop up some vegetables for some crudite. You can use any vegetables that you like. Um, I'm gonna do carrots, celery, and radishes today. So we've got our celery, we've got a few carrots. These carrots are peeled already, and I'm just gonna cut them into sticks, about the same size as the celery. I think crudite is just a nice, cooling, crunchy item to serve alongside your spicy wings, and they're great dipped in the ranch. And I'm just gonna cut up a few radishes. I'm just gonna slice them in half. To finish off the crudite, I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of lime juice over top. Give it a little bit of flavor over this crudite to give it a little bit of acidity and brightness and season with a little bit of salt. Here's our crudite and it's gonna hang out while we make our scallion ranch. For our scallion ranch, the first thing we're gonna do, cut the scallions. I'm gonna trim off the root and a little bit of the green, just anything that looks kind of dry. Then I'm actually gonna slice a little bit of this and save it for serving. So cutting it in half lengthwise and then again into quarters. Okay, now I'm gonna finely chop the scallion. This fresh scallion is gonna bring a lot of like bright oniony goodness. Okay, that's going into our bowl where we're gonna build our dressing. We also have some dried garlic and onion powder to kind of balance that out. So I'm gonna add that along with some salt. Dried oregano for an herbal note and black pepper. I think ranch is really great with, with a lot of pepper. And a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it. You can't really taste the sugar, it just balances it all out. All right, now I'm adding buttermilk, which is nice and tangy. I'm putting in sour cream. Again, that like tangy, dairy, creamy, fatty goodness. And I also have mayonnaise. Okay, I'm gonna whisk this together. And now I'm gonna add the apple cider vinegar. It's just gonna add a lot of great bright acidity to this and thin it out a little bit too. It's tangy. It's got the nice kick of oregano. It has the spice from the garlic powder onion powder, the brightness from the scallion. I think just a little bit more pepper. I'm just gonna season it a tiny bit more. Okay, and that's our scallion ranch. All right, today I'm using a carbon steel grill frying pan with perforations that allow the flames to rise up and kiss whatever you're grilling. It also lets the fat drip down. The carbon steel has a really nice heat retention. It can get really nice browning on whatever it is you're cooking in here. I also love it because it helps you cook smaller foods that might normally fall down into the grill grates. All right, my grill frying pan is preheated. 
Just gonna oil it up a little bit. And stop my grill lit for two zones. This side is gonna be medium, medium low, where I'm gonna really start to render out the, the fat in the chicken skin. So I'm gonna let these cook for about five minutes, then I'll give them a flip. And they'll cook about 10 minutes total in the medium, medium low zone. And then once they're cooked through, I'll move it over to the medium high side where I'll really like crisp them up and get that nice char at the end. So you can see that the skin is starting to blister. It's getting nice and bubbly. So that's gonna be a really crispy, crunchy texture. It's been about nine, 10 minutes so far. I'm gonna give these a little bit longer just to keep rendering. All right, these look like they're pretty nicely rendered. The skin has a nice kind of golden brown all over. And I think we're ready to move it into the medium high zone. I'm just gonna give these a final turn, getting some really nice charring. This is really what I'm looking for. See how the skin is blistered. It's getting nice and charred. It's gonna be nice and crispy, golden brown and delicious. So the nice thing about this recipe is you can cook some, go ahead and put them out for your guests and then cook another batch. Keep those wings coming all day long. All right, these look good to me. So I'm gonna pull them off the heat. I'm gonna get my other batch going and then we're gonna plate them up and serve. I've got my seasoned crudite. I have my crispy wings straight off the grill. Got our scallion ranch, and I'm just gonna finish that off with a little scallion just to make it look pretty. I've got a little bit more of our chipotle chili powder just for the crudite. You don't have to do this, but I'm fancy, so I'm gonna add it. All right, let's try the wings. Mmm, these are everything I would want in a wing. They're so delicious. They're juicy on the inside, they're crispy on the outside. Cooked up really fast on the grill. That brine made them so crispy, so flavorful. They're spicy, tangy, herby. Just everything I could want in a wing. And now I'm gonna try it in some ranch. The creamy, tangy ranch really cuts the heat and pairs perfectly with the smokiness and the spiciness of this wing. It's really a wonderful pairing. They're great for entertaining. They come together really quickly, perfect for any time. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizer, party. Keep your grill going and just make them all day long. The grill frying pan is an excellent tool to make wings because it lets the flames come up, it lets the fat drip down, nothing falls through the grates and that carbon steel really gives a nice browning to the skin. These are really good on their own. They're even better with this scallion ranch. I really hope you give them a try. I'm Rhoda from Made In and I'll see you next time.